All right guys, so look today, I am, this is a Saturday that I'm filming this. This has been a rough week. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> okay, let me show you what we have. Okay, so base-wise, Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas, Oxygenetics Foundation, Rare Beauty Concealer under the eyes. Uh, I had a blister card with this concealer and I really liked it. So I got the shade 190 and I have it under the eyes today. It's my first day wearing it. Makeup Forever powder on the face. We have the Cogendo under the eyes, which I just don't want to drag out here because it's loose powder. Uh, I use this matte vibes again from Violet Voss. I, my first experience with it was not the best. Um, and I think it was the nude sticks. Uh, crayon. I just that never really works the way I want it to work. So today I use the Beauty Pie uh, crayon in the shade Huntress, and it's lovely. We have the Decorte Liquid Liner, which is so black, so matte. Pencil from Milani, hooked on Espresso in the upper waterline. We have the Marc Jacobs bronzer and the Maybelline gloss in Stone and Milani Cafe Olay lip liner. I feel like Cafe Olay sounds. Like, is that how you pronounce it? <laughs> so it's my second time wearing the Marc Jacobs bronzer in a really long time. And I forgot, I feel like maybe I went into a phase of liking much more darker, deeper bronzers. And I kind of dismissed this, but it's very pretty. Like, it just gives your cheek like a nice little bit of warmth. Um, it still can be built up. You can get a little, little contour action if you really needed. And the eyes eyes I really like today, the brows are mm, so-so, and uh, the lip is actually should be way more intense. I had some food, but um, this Oxygenetics Foundation, it's just, let me get closer, but not that close to the light, so we can see the skin. Can we see it? I just always feel like it's like someone took a really thin, clear layer of something and put it over my skin and it well i guess what i'm describing is called a filter <laughs> it just looks very like my skin just does not look better than this right like then when i have this foundation on it's so incredibly beautiful like i feel like this is the kind of skin you get when you work really hard to get like really beautiful like skin naturally it doesn't look like makeup it just looks so good. <laughs> okay, Aldi haul. I have run out of the basics here. And uh, you know, now that it's cold, I don't know that Trader Joe's is going to be a thing because I have to stand outside. <laughs> I'm not into that. Okay, so two almond milks. So these chocolate chip cookies, I got two. There were, you know like when things start to run out or they're not restocking, they just put like, they get their tiny, tiny little corner. Yes, this looked like they were not restocking there was still like a better amount of brownie ones but these i don't know guys get it while you can the extra toasty baked cheese crackers uh these are really good you can super taste the extra toastiness of it i feel like when i get the cheese cheese it's ones i don't i don't get that like you know like toasted like slightly burnt flavor they just taste i don't know harder all the cheeses are back. There was like baked breeze. There was smoked everything. So I got a smoked Gouda and cheddar. And then I got one of the Applewood smoked ones. I think there was a cheddar, a Gouda, and a Gruyere that were Applewood smoked. We have a honey for, no, not a honey. A ham for sumo. Yeah. Two dozen eggs. Two bags of spinach. Some cheddar for me and Sumo, a salmon, and the star of the show, a blueberry mascarpone torte cheesecake. So last year, there was some sort of like dark chocolate latte cappuccino, I don't know, but it was like a cheesecakey thing and the crust was like, I don't know, it was amazing. So I'm hoping this is good. I think there was a original flavor too, but I'm like down for blueberry at any time. So hopefully this is yummy. It will probably take me two weeks to get through it because I'll be having like three to four bites at a time, but I don't know. We will review, obviously. 
All right guys, so I feel like I should have shared this with you earlier. <laughs> I think today is the last day. So from December 10th to the 15th, Skin Store was redoing, like they're replaying their Black Friday sale. And while I've had it like linked in the description box, I just wanted to bring attention to it because I probably read description boxes 50% of the time. Um, especially when I just have YouTube like on in the background, like I'm not like racing to look at a description box, right? So if I hear something being called out, then I'll like go look, right? Cause then, you know, whatever. Anyway, all right, so the first things I wanna share with you are microcurrent new face type things. If you need your gel, get it now. I have the big one. Um, and definitely invest in, it's not even investing because they're not expensive at all. You can get like three for four dollars or three for five, whatever off of like Amazon. Get a silicone mask applicator. I will link some below. Uh, important in making sure that you get like the maximum like usage out of these because I keep saying this, but I just want you to know that if you use your hands, it just dries out faster. And I am stressing this because I really considered looking for alternatives to these gel primers. And while I did find some, they're just not as good or as easy than the actual primer gel. I know I'm like, and you guys know me, like I am cheap. <laughs> I am not going to just like spend on something just because you know they say it works the best this actually just does really work really well with the new face or a microcurrent device i use the new face gel for the ferreo also which is also on sale so new face items 25 percent off ferreo i think it's select items but this i tried the code it works so if you're interested in like a smaller device which i am so if you want some sculpt and you just turn this on. So right now it works with an app. They are going to launch it where you can just use it kind of like free style. Uh, if you hold this here and here, you will have some cheekbones, okay? Like you, it won't last all, like all day. It's a temporary thing, but like exercise, the longer you use it, the more consistent you are. Once you hit your goal, you don't have to maintain it. So, I mean, totally like wow and when i first used this i just could feel it so much more because it's stronger than the new face mini that i have but the new face mini is still something that i use more often than the ferreo i kind of have to find a balance because i definitely use the new face mini this morning and i did both sides of ow both sides of my face and my neck and i always feel like i look super refreshed and like ready to be on camera you know how they're like oh it adds 10 pounds well if you use a microcurrent device beforehand you will you can shave off like seven of those pounds you know what i'm saying okay this is my most recent purchase which i shared with you i don't know maybe last week but it's the new face gel primer brightening with niacinamide that already has a brush so then you would not need to buy a brush if you have this um i haven't tried it yet i will let you guys know rodeal uh they don't have the banana low lighter but they do have this really beautiful blush in copacabana there's also like a pinkier shade but i went for this one because you know hot coral my vibe and then the kagendo i don't know if everything from kagendo is on sale but this powder is and this is a backup i have i have the actual one that i'm using sitting on my vanity under eye absolute best powder i will say that this is my absolute favorite i mentioned it when i talked about this powder before nothing is better than this powder under your eyes if you want to use it on the rest of your face feel free again it's undetectable but i feel like the under eyes is where i'm just like completely wowed by it because your under eyes it's like you really want to leave it alone you're like i would prefer not to put concealer on or not put foundation i mean i don't put foundation under my eyes but the second you do it, you're like, oh, I just aged myself. And then you're like, now I have to powder it to keep this like in place. And I don't know, this powder, absolute best powder for under eyes or any area that you do not want the powder to cake. So while it will set and make it look really nice, this is not some kind of mattifying. It's actually called the like lighting powder, the natural lighting powder. So no matting, no matting, no mattifying properties only setting okay yeah is that it i thought there were more products if i can find oh 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 this this is so important the derma doctor kakadu c vitamin c peel i will try and link the clip below where i talk about this because i use this like i would use a, a very strong peel <laughs> basically you're supposed to put this on and then remove it after a few minutes 
I will leave it on overnight and top it with a moisturizer and I will peel for like two, three days. I mean, like it behaves like a strong retinol if you use it that way. So um, I will link that clip below. And if there's anything else I can find, I will also link that. I just wanted to draw attention to this because if you were like, I didn't pick something up that I wanted to pick up or I didn't realize uh, I wanted to repurchase or refill or try or whatever. So that's that.